Hello everyone, my name is Vanshika Dhanuja and I'm going to share my project Spring 2's details. This is the Sprint retrospective for Spring 2 and for the subject ITEC 7415 master project and I'm a student of Masters of Technology Software Engineering. Now sharing the project details. Uh, our project is Learning and Management System and our client is Unicampus Education Network. And the project manager for the client is Ashish Rana Magar. And our supervisor is Ms. Sadia Aziz. Talking about the team members, we are three members in the team. Uh, first is Maitha Panchika Dhanija, and the second is Sudeep Rai, and the third is Justin Kohl. Now, sharing the sprint to details. This sprint started on 1st of September 2020 and it ended on, it will end on 30th of September 2020. The user stories in the sprint backlog are as follows there are three user groups that is admin, teacher, and student. These are some of the user stories for the admin. User story one is as an admin, I can assign subject to teacher so that teacher will be able to modify only the subject resources that are allocated for. And it took around three days. The second user story is as an admin, I can create classes and timetables so that students can update their timetable according to their time frame. And it took six days. The third user story is that an admin can create assignments so that teacher and student will be able to view it and access it. It took three days. Now, the last story, a user story for an admin is that I, an admin can create lecture materials and resources specific to the subject so that teachers and students will be able to view them. It took five days. Uh, now, the second user group is teacher. As a teacher, I can do attendance according to the subjects and classes allocated by the admin so that students can view it. This, this took around two days. As a teacher, uh, I can also upload assignment marks so that student can view it and it took around two days. The last user story for teacher was, as a teacher, uh, I can update and modify lecture and resources so that students can view the updated material. It took around one day. Now the user story is for student. The first user story is that as a student, I can enroll in the core subject so that I can manage my course study better and it took one day as a student i can modify personal timetable for classes so that i can arrange classes according to my convenience this was the second user story and took it took two days the third user story is that as a student i can access materials of lectures and resources for a specific subject so that i don't have to waste my time on other resources and only see the courses in which i have enrolled and it took around one day and as a student the last user story is that students can view assignment marks so that they can prepare for their future study and make uh, and they can make them better and it took one day now comes the use case diagram this shows how an admin can create lecture edit lecture delete lecture and view lecture this user case diagram is for admin and um, lecture module and how this works is shown in this and it is stored in the database and it also includes the uploading to amazon service s3 uploading the file deleting the file retrieving the file all are uh, done in amazon service 3 now comes the sequence diagram this shows how the process works an admin can log in first and it will take to the login screen and then to the dashboard if the credentials are valid and then it goes to the lecture module manager and there they, uh, an admin can create lecture and uh, let, can do the lecture entry details uh, if they there are not successful then validation message will be and if it is success then success message will be given after uploading the resources in the amazon f3 service so the sequence diagram for creating a lecture then there are a few test cases for sprint 2 which i have prepared the test case ID I have given is TC27 and it has high priority. In the description of test is creating the class manager. The requirement for this is that user must be able to log in and create class manager. How we can do that? We can uh, we need to scroll to the uh, class manager and select the class manager and view the options for the class manager. These are the required steps. And the expected result is class manager created. And the user can see the class manager. Next comes the uh, options added to the class manager. For this, uh, 
test set to, uh, should be scrolling to the class manager with the class manager and select the list class which is the first option and then uh, selecting the various options and then they can see the list of the classes the other option for this is the create class which is uh, given as follows what test case do we need to follow for this the other test case for uh, other test case is for attendance module in this uh, jasprit kaur and me both have worked together this is the description of uh, description of the test case uh, create attendance manager here the user must be able to log in and see the attendance manager and follow the test steps given on the screen and the expected results should be the attendance manager created and user can view the attendance manager then adding the options into attendance manager the options are uh, creating attendance and the other option is updating the attendance we can also create the list of the attendance now what is the requirement and progress of sprint the various tasks that we have done in sprint to are developing various modules that are enrollment manager room manager class manager timetable manager and attendance manager and the second thing is getting the feedback from the client which is equally important uh, so that we can uh, have an update that what we are doing is as exactly good as we want him to appreciate and the other thing is update updating the client with the progress of the project now comes the communication proof showing that um, the client may, uh, meeting was held through the zoom link here comes the supervision meeting uh, that miss sadia ji sent us a link and we are continuously on weekly basis attending those supervision meetings and these are the few meeting details that uh, the team members had moreover uh, we had our individual contribution spending time on these modules and it took took around 7 hours daily including the meetings and our personal efforts the individual uh, contribution is development designing and implementation of the few, uh, of few of the modules i have also done testing in some of the parts and i have written most of the test cases are other more available which i'll show in the next prints and then comes the documentation work that i am doing now here's the evidence of the work the work done uh, these are the screenshots of our project showing uh, class manager options for class manager and then comes the attendance manager and here are the options for attendance manager such as list attendance create attendance in visual experience my experience was really good as i am having a chance to learn how to use uh, amazon web services s3 uh, more i uh, more things that i've learned is how to write test cases i've enhanced my technical skills a lot and i've also learned that the importance of communication in a team and also with the, with the client are equally important and required for a successful project um, thank you